Well, we met at church, kind of. We officially met outside his house. Uh, she was stalking me <laughs> at my old apartment. <laughs> I pulled up, she got out of her car, acted like she was just visiting her friend next door, but she was stalking me. Because my mom's friend lived next door to him. So I ran into him outside the house. I think he was scraping snow off of his car or something. <laughs> and I was feeding my friend's pets, or my mom's friend's pets, while she was out of town. She kept eyeballing me through, uh, at this church actually, and uh, come to find out, she liked me a lot, and she knew before I did that we we're going to get married. Thought he had no idea, but apparently he did. Okay. Or so he says. <laughs> Actually, I kind of asked him because I knew he was moving to Texas. I was going to San Antonio for a party for work, and I invited him to be my date. First date, uh, Teresa asked me out on the first date before I moved to Texas a while back, last year. And she invited me to go with her company to uh, San Antonio, Texas, because I, I was nearby. She thought we would you know, have a good time together, so she invited me down, and we, I was her date for her Christmas party in San Antonio. Yep, and we hung out all weekend and just dated over the phone a lot until we moved back. So that's how we met. She worked with the youth. I worked with the youth because I worked here and got paid to do that with the youth. So here she is. Here I am. What a day. Last November, so. Uh, how did that lead to this? We went, uh, we went canoeing on uh, Lake Dillon, there outside Breckenridge. On the 4th of July, and had a picnic on an island. And we took a canoe trip over to one of the little peninsulas. Island. Peninsulas. Island. And we had a picnic lunch with Austin, he was there. And then we sat down on the blanket, had our lunch, off the question. She said yes, she cried, Austin cried, it was a good thing. It was cute. Roll the tape. This is Karen. She just brushed her teeth. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> um, we met we met at church. She was trying to hook me up with somebody. <laughs> 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 and this is Elisa, and we've been friends since for a really long time. We went to elementary school together. I didn't really start hanging out until Elisa, Elisa started working with my sister. As her boss. You were. Oh, yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We didn't like each other at first, and then we just messed up friends. Your bride? I am. Bridesmaid. <laughs> Should have been the maid of honor, but... Let it slide. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Billy. We met at church. We hung out a lot with Randy, part of the reason I'm, I'm with him. She's kind of been... She's kind of been setting it up for a long time. <laughs> I had a two-year plan and it worked. <laughs> I have to tell you about the five-year plan. Oh. <laughs> and Monica, she's the maid of honor. She's my sister. I've known her all my life. She's younger. So we've known each other a long time. We've hung out quite a bit, went to school together, and everything else together, and then she moved to Breckenridge. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take two. Tim, Ham, and Tree, who are you? I am Tim, Ham, and Tree. Round Rock, Texas. Live 14, Sun Drop Place, 756. I just call me if you need me. 7 8 It's really good. Glad to be here. Love Randy, and I'm a worship pastor at the church that Randy left and evacuated and came to Breckenridge to meet his bride. So glad to be here. All said and done. Good. How about Dane? What's your role? Oh, go back. I'm the uh, best man of the best man. So actually, I'm. <laughs> Just nothing but a groomsman, actually. Just a groomsman. But, you know, I like that. I feel like I need a title. Is that, is that what you need? Dane Henson. Bam. I am Dane Henson. 
and I am from Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas. And, uh, I don't know uh, what I need to say. What's your role? What's my role? I'm bringing up the beer. I mean, the rear. I'm bringing up the rear. Uh, I'm at the back of the groomsmen there. Um, love Randy. Known him for a while. I'm one of the Lost Boys. Face forward. So, uh, how about Tracy Greek? Tracy Greek. Austin, Texas. Best man. And Randy was the guy who taught me how to play music, I guess. Not really, but, you know, he taught me how to worship, which is more important than just playing music. Tell me about the Big Moth. And the Big Moth. It's the mythical grunge pedal I used to use when I first met Randy. <laughs> he was very embarrassed. It sounded like corn. Or Slayer. But he, he, he kept the faith, and he, he, he made me get rid of the Big Moth and use an acoustic guitar, which is good. All right, now, pull, pull you in. I am Steven Bullerman. I was in Randy's Bible School class 21 years ago. Yes! <laughs> and I am a groomsman, and my job is to stand up there and get sucked by Tim all day. <laughs> my name is Augie Goff. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I'm a groomsman, and I played on one of Randy's worship teams. And I'm so happy for him and Teresa. I know they're going to be happy to get it. Thanks, Augie. Intercept. Randy, here's your token. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've not seen my token. <laughs> oh. This is Austin. He's my son. We've known each other a long time, too. <laughs> Look at me while cooking. Oh. Oh.